for guys Derek Chisora and Villian White. Um, who wins? I think it's going to be a very good fight. I think it's going to be a very explosive fight. I think whenever you put these two guys together, you're always going to get a cracking fight because they're those type, they're, they're, they're them two type of they're, 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 they're type of characters that actually gel well together. And I think you'll get another cracking fight. You'll get two guys going to war, looking to beat the crap out of each other. And I think it's going to be an exceptional fight. It's going to be a fight where we're all going to be intrigued. We're all going to be on the edge of our seats to who wins. Uh, we're all going to be thinking, oh, you know, what's going to happen? Is someone going to get knocked out? Uh, but I do think Dillian White's a fresher man. I do think he's a fresher man. I know David Hay has got uh, Derek Chisora in great shape and he's, and he's, and he's training um, Derek Chisora. He's, he's got his diet on point. You know, he's got, he's got everything on point for Derek Chisora. Uh, and you're probably going to see the best version of Derek Chisora, but I think at this stage in Derek Chisora's career, is it going to be enough to beat someone like Dillian White, who's consistently improving, who's getting better and better every time he gets in the ring? Uh, he's obviously been through adversity now uh, in the Jose Parker fight. He's getting better. He's getting better. And Dillian White's very hungry and determined, and he wants a title shot. Um, he's not got his opportunity yet, and you have to say, it's... It's, it's not really fair because I think White's really done his dues now to get a title shot. Um, I, I think pe b someone like Big Baby Miller keeps talking about getting a title shot, but Baby Miller hasn't fought anybody. If you look at Dillian White's resume, it's, it's quite good for a guy that's not a champion and not, not fighting. He's fought some top names now. You know, and, he, and he's got the wins and he's, and he's not been able to secure his title shot yet. And, and I'm, I think, he, I, you know, I'm pretty sure he's got it. Uh, but... He's going into another tough fight against Derek Chisora, uh, who's just come off an incredible win against Carlos Takam. Um, and if he wins this fight, surely his next fight has to be for a title shot. But you wouldn't be surprised if it's not. Because you've got to realise, Wilder and Fury might be tied up. There's AJ. Now, AJ could go down the route of fighting Usyk. And that would, that would deny Dylan White a, a title shot again. Um, and after beating Parker, Chisora in the rematch... You'd probably have to say he deserves a title shot, but I'm pretty sure Derek Chisora is looking to derail those plans. Is he going to be good enough at this stage in his career? I'm not sure, because I don't think Derek Chisora has got great boxing ability. I think Dylan White will probably outbox him. Uh, he's a fresher, hungrier, younger man. Uh, but I do think Derek Chisora could knock out Dillian White, but Dillian White's got a great chin, and he's proved that in the first fight and in many other fights. You know, Dillian White's somebody that I do think he's, he's got stamina issues. I do think if you, someone young, hung, fresh, hungry, go taking him down the stretch, it doesn't matter how hard he trains, I do think that he will tire because I, I remember when he fought uh, uh, Parker and even before that, he, Dillian White seems to me he tires. And yes, obviously by training harder, he, he can improve that. But I just think there's something there with Dillian White where he's not a natural athlete where he can train as hard as he wants, but I do think that he will tire down the stretch. He will tire. I just feel he's got that kind of physique where, you know, most people said that about Joshua. Uh, but Joshua's never got put in that situation again uh, because the Parker fight was very easy. It was at Joshua's pace. When you get tired is when the fight's not at your pace. When Dillian White fought Parker, the fight wasn't at his pace. Um, you know, although he was controlling it, he was boxing well, I do think that Parker, especially towards the end, uh, White lost control of the pace of the fight, and that's why he was doing he, it was hustly and bustly towards the end, and that tired White. I do think this fight could potentially be tricky for him because he's going to be taking a lot of shots, and that tires you. I do think last time when he fought Derek Chisora, that he knackered, but the problem is Derek Chisora was also knackered. But this time, remember, Derek Chisora is going to be coming in tip top shape, so it's definitely going to be interesting to see what how this fight plays out. But I've got Dillian White winning the fight. Uh, by probably unanimous decision or maybe even a late stoppage. But leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video.